distant time and faraway place, the planet of New Texas floats deep in space. Sky of three suns, land of precious ore, the carrion rush brought out by the score. A lawman appears with powers of pop, wolf, puma, and bear. Protector of peace, mystic man from afar. Champion of justice, martial brave star. An observer from the Galactic Court, here to make a routine progress check on you, Judge. So far, not good. Not good at all. 6 a.m. and still in bed? But, but court doesn't open till 9. And besides, you're not supposed to be here until tomorrow. I prefer to arrive early. That way I can catch people if they're not doing their jobs. Know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I gotcha. Hang on a moment, I'll go get dressed. Uh, it's time I got up anyway. There may be a lot of damage and assault cases coming up soon. A roving band of dingoes have been causing a lot of trouble lately. Star. The settlers are like a herd of quad machines. Fat, soft, bleating, and stupid. We dingoes are the true masters of New Texas. And the settlers are our prey. Let's ride! Sorry, Petey. I didn't see you. Are you okay? Oh, I all right, Judge. I have a nice day. <laughs> you too, Petey. The creature was blocking the sidewalk. He should have been given a ticket and a fine. What? No way. Petey works hard to help support his family. He wasn't causing any trouble. The law is the law, Judge. I'll have to make a note of your unwillingness to enforce it. Oh, but... That's not a regulation judge's uniform you have on either. No, it isn't. The prairie people made this for me. It's better for the rough conditions on this planet. Mm, surely. Refuses to wear regulation uniform. What? What's going on? <gasps> Brave Star! What are you doing? Writing out a ticket. Why? That's my spaceship! That's nice. You're illegally parked, though. Spaceships don't belong in the middle of the street. Uh, wait a minute. Can't you let it pass this time, Marshal? This is an observer from the Galactic Court. That is correct. And I'm not accustomed to this kind of treatment. Better get used to it, then. 
Here you go. As a representative of the court, you should know the law better than anyone. I expect everyone to obey the law on this planet. Everyone. Have a nice day. Ah, I've never been... Uncle Kinsley! He's the marshal. And he's right. The law applies to everyone. Judge! Judge! Come quick! Billy Bob, what is it? What's wrong? It's the Solar Cow Ranchers, Judge. They're trying to kick us off our claim! Well, we can't have that. I gave both you miners and ranchers permission to use that land. Oh, hang on, Billy Bob. I'll get my turbo stallion and go check it out. Meantime, you go tell the marshal. Right, Judge. Any new reports on those dingo outlaws yet, Big Party? Scanners are picking up a whole mess of turbo mules out in Acid Gulch. They's moving fast. Sounds like the dingoes, all right. Who's out there that might be in danger? <sighs> Ain't nobody ever lived in Acid Gulch, Marshal. But if the dingoes keep moving the way they's heading, they's gonna run smack into a bunch of solar cow ranchers out in Hydrogen Valley. Looks like there's a carrion mine around there, too. Sounds like trouble, all right. We better head out there and... Marshal! Marshal Brave Star! What is it, Billy Bob? It's the Solar Cow Ranchers trying to kick us off on our claim! So miners are fighting with ranchers, huh? By any chance, are you both out in Hydrogen Valley? We sure are, Marshal. And them ranchers are giving us trouble. Billy Bob, you have no idea just how much trouble you're in. We'd better get out there, big partner. We got some stomping to do! Judge J.B. is heading out there, too. That's good, because we're going to need all the help we can get. Do I understand you correctly? You intend to go out to a mining claim to investigate the situation personally? Yes, that's right. That is not a regulation action. Normally, judges have the people bring their cases into court. Well, this is New Texas, Buster. And around here, sometimes we gotta bring the law to the people. Wait! I have to report this! Wait! There, you see, them solar cow ranchers are trying to run us off our claim. Well, I gave them permission to use that land too. But they shooting. You fellas are shooting too, I notice. Well, sure, we's defending ourselves. I suppose that makes a sort of frontier sense, right, Judge? Twombly, it's just a piece of rock and sand. Is that worth shooting at people for? We better get down there and bust up that fight before somebody gets hurt. Coming, Judge? Right behind you, Marshal. Now, wait a minute! Let's ride! <laughs> I'm definitely going to report this! <laughs> You take the ranchers, Judge. I'll handle the miners. Right, Brave Star. Speed of the Puma! Puma! Thirty thirty. Oh shucks. Oh, 
very impressive. <laughs> Thanks. But hardly conduct becoming a judge. I'm afraid this is going to have to be reported. You really got it in for me, don't you? Me? Now, really, judge. Just let me ask you one question. If I lose my job as judge on New Texas because you give me a bad report, just who is next in line for my job? Well, I... Well, I... I am. I thought so. Well, you don't have my job yet. So if you'll excuse me, I still have work to do. Oh, uh, uh... And I think you'll find, Mr. Galactic Court Observer, that I may not do everything by the book, but I get the job done. Well, it looks like we got a real problem here, Judge. Both these parties have papers to use this land, and both these papers are signed by you. That's right. Uh, ah, you admit it? You admit giving two different groups the rights to use the same land? Sure, why not? Uh, don't make much sense to me, JB. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, you miners work under the ground, right? Right. And you ranchers keep your solar cows above the ground, right? Right. Then, why can't you both share the same land? One on top and one underneath. We'll show you, Judge. You see, we miners need to use our blaster picks to dig mines. And as ranchers, our solar cows need to eat photo clover to grow. So? So, watch this. <laughs> See, when the miners dig, the vibrations make the photo clover close up. Our solar cows go hungry. Well, that ain't our problem. We got a right to mine. Well, we got a right to ranch. Well, go ranch somewhere else. Photo clover don't go anywhere else. Why don't you go dig somewhere else? You think carrium's easy to find? Now, hold on, you two. There's only one way to settle this, and it ain't by fight. We'll let the judge decide. That's right. Let the judge decide. <laughs> and let's hope you make the right decision, judge. Because if you don't, New Texas is going to have a new judge. <laughs> Me! <laughs> ah, poor JB. She's going through all her legal journals trying to find a fair solution to the problem. I don't think she can do it. She gave permission to both the miners and the ranchers to use the same land. But it turns out they can't work together. She'll have to take back one of her permits. And that won't look good when I make my report to the Galactic Council. No, no, no. And that means that New Texas will soon have a new judge. <laughs> Me. <laughs> you little flying weasel. You won't do much judging if I pulverize you. Easy, big partner. That's right, horse face. You'd better be careful, because as soon as I'm judge, I'm going to have you two replaced. You won't have to. We'd quit first. Come on. Just let me shake him up a little. Oh, all right. Go ahead. What? Thanks. Appreciate it. Play nice now. I'm going to get you, blokes. I wish you luck, JB. Because Twombly is the kind of judge that no one needs. Oh, let's see. I can't... No, that won't work. Oh, no! Oh, this is so frustrating. I know there's a solution. I can feel it. Yet I can't seem to find it. We need both miners and ranchers, yet they can't seem to work on the same land. Well, move your stupid animals, then! Oh, and apparently they can't get along, either. Well, why don't you dirt grubbers go dig somewhere else? I'm tempted. Your solar cows stink worse than practically anything on New Texas. Oh, you're right. As a matter of fact, only one thing smells worse than a solar cow, and that's a miner. Yeah. Well, I think maybe we should forget the judge and just settle this right here and now. Yeah! Now, isn't this where I came in, boys? Now, I want you two to... To what? Shh. Ears of the wolf! The wolf! The wolf! <laughs> What's going on, Marshal? Dingoes. A whole squad of them on turbo mules. They're headed this way. Oh, no. They'll steal our carrium. They'll rustle our cattle. Oh, no, they won't. Not if we fight back. But how? All our guns are wrecked. Well, isn't there something else you could use as weapons? 
<laughs> we could use blaster picks, but we can't outrun turbo mules. Solar cows run fast, don't they? Sure, we can ride them. Let's do it. We we'll show them. Ha! That's the spirit. Now let's get moving. Ah, stupid! Cut it out. Better get back here, big partner. We've got some stomping to do. Hey, that's my line. I'll be right there. Hey! Sorry, Twombly, but we can't have you interfering and maybe getting hurt. Ah. So you just stay in there or you'll be safe. Everyone ready? Ready. Then let's do it! It's over. That gang of dingoes won't bother anyone for a long while. Your cattle and carry them are safe. Thanks to these blaster picks, they were right handy. Uh, heck, couldn't have done it about them solar cows. Tell you what, Billy Bob. Me and the boys, well, we'll look for another field to photo clover. Ah, oh, no way, Alf. We'll go. There's other carry them on New Texas. Sure is a nice change in tone, right, Judge? Yeah, Brave Star, but I still feel there's a way that they can both work here. I just have to find it. Oh, say a boo. Because otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. Why, you? Wait, 3030. Look, the photo clover. They're closing. Why, sure, Judge. They always close at night. That's it, then. That's the answer. You can both stay. What? You bet. Don't you see that ranchers can feed their solar cows during the day when the photo clover are open? Of course. And the miners can work at night when the photo clovers are closed anyway. Huh? Dang! I think it'll work. Sure it will. We miners work in the dark anyway. Glad it worked out, Billy Bob. Me too, Alf. Oh, that! Guess New Texas gets to keep the best judge it ever had after all. Yeah, so now let me tell you what you can do next, Twombly. You can take your report, and you can stuff it! <laughs> so, Twombly went back to present his report to the Galactic Council, huh? Yep. Another round of Sweetwater Handlebar. Sure thing. One thing, though, he sure looked cheerful about going. There you go. Thanks for the drink, big part. Don't thank me. You're buying. <laughs> Horses don't carry money. Uh, what's that you said, Judge? Twombly left cheerfully? Yeah, and that seems strange, especially since he wasn't able to make a bad report on me. Maybe deep down he was really a nice little guy was glad to see you were doing a fine job. No, it was more a sneaky cheerfulness, like he was getting away with something. Hmm. Wonder what it could have been. You remembered to collect that parking fine from him before he left, right, Marshal? Marshal? Blast it! Ooh, you forgot, huh? 
All the excitement, it never occurred to me. Darn it. Well, sorry, Marshal, but you know the rules. Yep. Comes out of your salary, pard. <laughs> Another sweet water judge? <laughs> Don't mind if I do, 30-30. Set him up again, handlebar. Brave stars by Hey! <laughs> In today's story, we met Alf and Billy Bob, two men fighting over the same piece of land. But when they were attacked by the dingoes, the two men learned to work together to protect themselves. When people work together, they can often solve problems that they wouldn't be able to solve by themselves. It's called teamwork or cooperation. And it's a very important part of getting things done. So the next time you and your friends have a problem, why not try teamwork? Try it. I think you'll like it.